Hello, welcome back to Tarot Time with Andy. Thank you for being here. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research for entertainment purposes and no delays. Hello, good morning, good evening. Hello, hello. Hope you guys are doing a good job today, having a great day and all that. Today I would like to do a spread on a menudo singer, singer by the name of Roy Rossello. When he was 14 years old, do you guys remember that minute? Uh, Menendez brothers, uh, the killing of Jose and Kitty. They were wealthy parents and they had two sons named Eric and Lyle Menendez, who were very young at the time, only 18 and 21 years old, when they shot and killed their parents, Jose and Kitty. Uh, apparently, Jose uh, is now being accused in death of raping Roy Rossello. He was a singer for Menudo. Uh, he said that, um, you know, um, Jose was part of RCA records. Anyways, he's coming out. He's coming out about this 90s. This, the brothers were convicted in 96. The killings was in 89. Uh, so I guess it was caught up in court a long time waiting for their trial. Um, they did say that prison was better than living with their parents, that the mother completely went along with it was you know she didn't say anything she didn't report it she just stayed quiet about it and i do remember the brutal imagery i remember the case very very well because i followed it at the time uh, they claimed it back then in court but it seemed to get dusted on the rug no one believed it back then i would say there wasn't a lot about parental abuse and sexual abuse in courts and this whole situation, which has changed a lot in many years. And now my dogs are going bonkers. So just ignore the dogs. I know they're annoying me right now. But anyways, here we go. I want to do a reading on it. Um, they're in the same faculty. They both got life sentences and first degree murder. Um, wow, someone's really must be knocking at the door. Okay, previous retrials or appeals have all been denied. So there's going to be this four-part mini-series on HBO about how the Menudo brothers, the Menudo boys, a lot of, I met them, I met them uh, when I was, I, this is why I'm kind of drawn to this case. Uh, I actually met Menudo, I did a Pepsi commercial, and they were the stars of the Pepsi commercial, and this was when I was only 19, I was 19 at the time, so almost 19. 18 about to turn 19 when this went down so i i met the guys i met the, i met the menudo singers uh in person so this is why i'm really drawn to it and crazy they were so cute and young and i remember them you know it's just so bizarre and anyways they're saying that they were all sexually mentally physically financially psychologically abused being in that band um being a boy band, I guess, you know, not good. Same thing came out recently with the Spice Girls talking about the abuses. It seems that when it's a organized band from a, from a record company versus doing it on your own, tends to open the door, the floodgates of abuses. And it appears that Menudo is, what, is part of it. And Jose was a player. He was a pedophile, according to Roy Rossello. Uh, and it's too bad he didn't speak up back then because, you know, that means Eric and Lyle would not have spent the last 30 years or so in prison. Um, so now it's looking like things might be changing for the two of them. It's looking pretty solid for them, actually, um, that what they were saying is true. Um, so I want to read on that. Uh, crazy. Crazy, crazy that after all these years, both brothers have been married. One of them has been married twice, uh, but both of them have gotten married behind bars. Um, so there you have that. Don't think they have conjugal visits. Not entirely certain on that, but not important. So let's get some cards on um, what's going to what's gonna happen with this. And I just want to get a general vibe. Uh, you know, is, was this going to go anywhere? Are we going to see justice? Was justice served? What's going to happen? Uh, I'd like to see the justice card pop out. Uh, I'd like to see what's going to happen. Uh, interesting. Interesting. Okie dokie. So Lyle and Eric. What's going to happen for Lyle and Eric? 
you know, I believe his claims. I don't think that he's denying it. Uh, I do know that Hollywood's pretty, um, pretty bad in that area when it comes to kids. Um, no surprise. That's why so many of them are messed up. I don't really question Roy's accounts, to be quite frank with you. But I do want to find out what's going to happen. So that's where I'm going with this. Uh, what's going to happen? What's going to happen with this case in general? What's going to happen with this case? What's going to happen with this case? What's going to happen with this case? Will, will they be free? Will they stay locked up? What's going to happen with this case? 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 Ooh, we got here Ace of Swords. So basically, it was it was poor judgment. They didn't get it right. Ace of Swords in reverse. Ace of Swords upright is truth. Uh, everything came out. I would say starting out, things were clouded. There was a lot of clouded judgment going on. Uh, what else? Ace of Swords. There's a lot of stress. There was a lot of dishonesty, uh, painful words. There was a lot of unknowable purposes. So I would say there's unknowable purposes going on and unable to express it, unable to express it. So that's why Roy stayed silent. He could not express it at that time. Didn't want to open up. He wasn't ready to reveal it. He wasn't ready to open it up. Ace of Swords upright is being able to have that willpower and that reasoning and that honesty to actually open up the conflict because he probably knew if he said anything, it would start this whole can of worms in Hollywood. It would challenge Hollywood. It would open up a huge conflict. So he was unable to express it. Didn't want to talk. Shut down. Shut down the unknowable situation that went on, uh, the pain that went on, uh, the dishonesty that went on, the stress. Uh, so basically, and he realizes that was not the best thing to do, more than likely. Challenging position, ace of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, he was probably afraid of being dropped. He was probably afraid of loss of income. Uh, he also, wow, two aces on the table in reverse. Uh, he didn't want to lose out on jobs, offers, salary, making money, being able to pay your bills, your home. Uh, this is also the gift of life in reverse. You know, he know he knew that was kind of like a bad seed. It's a bad seed when it's in this position. Uh, he was afraid of losing opportunities and rewards. That's why he shut it down. And it's also the loss of life too. The gift of life in reverse with the shooting. Uh, also, the Ace of Swords is cutting out. That's cutting out like surgically or literally taking someone out in loss of life. The gift of life in reverse costs the gift of life because, and it also costs the gift of life to Eric and Lyle uh, if everything works out for them. We have here, it was karma. It was something that apparently was supposed to happen. So it was just the timing was not right. But at that time, now things are spinning it's looking like in their favor because it's the wheel. It's going to spin. It's just going to happen. It's a fake card. Change is coming. Change is coming in a good direction, I would say, for all three of them. For Roy, for Eric, and Lyle. Things are spinning. Karma, fate. The bottom of the deck, we have here the Page of Swords in Reverse. Could not speak up. Page of Swords in Reverse is basically not taking action. Uh, you know... This is interfering with other people. Page of Swords points out the problems. It's a very strong-willed children. So I would say they were pretty young when they took out uh, their parents. And there was a lot of harsh talk. Uh, it's hiding the truths. In reverse, it's hiding the truths upright. You're letting the truths out. So basically here, it's, it's hiding the truth and suppressing it. So this, the truth was suppressed. Um... The important message didn't get out. It's a negative message. Didn't want to put out the negative message because he didn't want to lose salary and he didn't want to get attacked. Uh, so this is why he shut down. Suppression. Uh, not able to speak up. Probably felt like he was too young to speak up. 
uh, didn't want to point out the errors of others, didn't want the investigation. This is the spy card, didn't want to open up an investigation. The Page of Swords is someone who spies and investigates, didn't want the, the gossiping, uh, didn't want, you know, didn't want all the truths. This is hiding, this is truth. This is truth hidden, upright. In reverse, it's kind of letting it out. Uh, but also, it was about suppression at that particular time. So, because the Page of Swords is all about pointing out everybody's errors. That's not that bratty, difficult child. This is a bratty, difficult child that, like, takes an, an English class, for instance, just to give you kind of an example. It's like that kid who takes a, a really hard class in English and then points out all your verbal errors and how you're saying words wrong. It's that, it's that know-it-all child. It's the problem child, the know-it-all child. Uh, here, they suppress, they shut down. So there was a suppression and shut down. Uh, they, not, I would say that Eric and Lyle had to shut down around their father. It could not speak up before the killings, as well as for Roy. Could not. They complete suppression here. Uh, then we have here Five of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, because they didn't want to have no support didn't want to end up as lone wolves, estrangement. It's the it's the shame card, total shame. Uh, but now it's the end of difficult times in this position. So basically, they didn't want to be outcasts. This is the outcast card with no job, no home, no support. They didn't want to be. They didn't want to. They're too young. They didn't want to struggle. Uh, Beverly Hills is very expensive. California rent is very expensive. Too young to be out on their own. Probably couldn't afford to be on their own. Didn't want to be kicked out of the house. Couldn't speak up. Uh, there just was, they needed recovery. So this was why they did what they did. They wanted recovery of uh, their spiritual side, their emotional, financial, all of that. And now's the time. Now's the time for healing and recovery and the end of that difficult time. It didn't serve in the past, but now it is, it's the recent past. Now it's time. It's time for healing. Time to heal this disgrace because it felt like a disgrace when when children have been raped, molested, tortured emotionally, physically, financially, psychologically, all of that. They do suppression. So this is a total suppression of karma that it was supposed to be this way. And now it's time to let's get this fixed. Um, what is the purpose? The pur purpose now is to heal. The purpose now is to remove that disgrace and shame. Uh, and that emotionally, financially, spiritually isolated, outcast feeling, that wounded energy that they got from this situation. Going into the future, letting all the truths out. Wow. Wow. Upright. Upright is keeping the secrets. It's in reverse. So letting out all the secrets of the mental illness. Pedophilia is a mental illness. And it made the boys sick. It made all three of them sick. It made everybody sick. This whole this whole situation is sick. So mental illness, uh, lots of anxiety and coping, but letting out the letting out the lunacy and the secrets and the hidden truths and letting it all come out. All the hidden truths are now coming out. No longer suppressing it. Then we have here there there was just no hope for healing here. Uh, so this is a way to probably heal because they weren't being able to heal. Healing is letting it out. So letting it out is uh, about trying to get future hope, trying to find your path in life. It discouraged their path in life. Uh, they lost their path in life. There was no renewed hope in the situation. Uh, you know, so fame in reverse. I would say, you know, with Roy, he didn't want to lose his fame. He wanted to be able to continue to make money. Uh, I would say also it's infamy. Didn't want infamy. Uh, Eric and Lyle became infamous from the situation. They glowed down. They didn't glow up. They lost their entire life path because of the situation. Uh, the universe did not have their back. Uh, there was no hope. All hope was lost, I would say, for all three boys. Uh, outside influences here. They had to make a deliberation, a total decision here. So they did. They came, became to a difficult decision. Uh, for, the, for, the, for Eric and Lyle, they shot and killed their parents. For Roy, he suppressed it and shut down. And there was that. And their heart, they blocked off the emotions. Let's, I just, I'm just going to stay blindfolded. I'm going to block it off so I can't see and feel because there's no hope in healing this situation. But now with it coming out, they did make that deliberation. They made that decision. Uh, they, they made that intellectual crossroad that now is the time to do it. 
They had to check their head and their heart. They debated it. They were torn between options. Uh, and so they made this compromise. They made this decision. A decision was required. So they made the decision. A decision had to be made. The sons felt there was a decision that had to be made because otherwise the abuse was going to continue with no hope, no healing, no future. They had to do something. But all three of them needed to make a decision. But back then, they just thought about the decision and decided to stay blocked off emotionally. Just stay, stay I'm just going to wear my blindfolds here because I don't want to really make it. I know I got to make one, but I really don't feel like it. I just can't do it because there's just too much emotional weakness here. Uh, when you're in this kind of glowed down, depression, discouraged energy, uh, they stay blocked. It's like a way to hold yourself up emotionally. And then the final, uh, excuse me, the hopes and fears was there was a decision that had to be made. Uh, for Eric and Lyle, they made the most destructive decision. Uh, there, are, there are seven cups here. And with the seven of cups, you have three that are good and three that are about, gr about greed. And for dark purposes, uh, they went for the bottom four, which was, uh, they went for the greed cup. They went for the wrong cup. Uh, they chose, they chose, they made an emotional decision and they all came to an emotional decision and chose which direction they wanted to do. So they made that emotional decision and they both, they all kind of decided to, to the brothers, you know, did their thing and all that. And so at peace, uh, they wanted to shut down the conflict and struggle of the five of wands here. There's just too much chaos, drama, strife. Uh, there's fighting, there's fighting spirit. Uh, they decided what's worth fighting for. Um, here they decided they were going to do it and they, so they can get some resolution, some harmony and get some sort of normalcy established in their life. Um, it's just this radical commitment was made, uh, with this fighting spirit. And in order to get peace, they did what they did. Uh, so one shut down, the other two blew them apart. Uh, in order to get that peace and not none of them none of them really felt like they could get the support you know three of cups in reverse three upright is getting you know it's the celebration of life they could not celebrate life there was no it just, there was no celebration here uh it's just now they want to make amends uh this here is they just they couldn't get the support they felt they couldn't get the support and that nothing would improve. So that's why they made that the shutdown, the shooting. Uh, this is a trauma response. And they both, the brothers and, and Roy handled it differently. Roy decided to stay the peaceful route and just shut down. Uh, but the brothers couldn't escape it. And they knew they couldn't have support. They didn't want to tell their friends. Uh, they wanted to shut down the, con the they wanted to shut down uh, you know, the, the problems, the conflicts, the strife at home. Uh, and they got an adrenaline rush out of it when they did it, but then it just brought back this calmness for them. It gave them that resolution. Uh, but still they couldn't get the support when it went to trial. Nobody believed them. Uh, nobody wanted to, they felt they were uncooperative. Every, you know, everybody was uncooperative. There wasn't the collaboration and the growth in order to get a true justice here. And another three in reverse, just uncooperative, uncooperative, still conflicted. So that's probably why they got that prison because they could not get with the three of wands. Three of wands is making all the right moves to get the results you want. Here, they didn't make the right maneuvers or get the right, probably, people speaking up on their behalf. They didn't make the right moves, so therefore they didn't get the support uh, to get the, the proper resolution here. But they got their re resolution through murder. And then we have here, uh, they're trying to remove that boundary, uh, trying to say, okay, here we have here, they had a lack of resources. The sons had the lack of resources. They Even though they were wealthy, they did get, I believe it was, uh, you know, it was paid by the state. Uh, they had to give up control, give up control, uh, you know, and so they say, this is like saying, no, they really did not do it for money. They just didn't want to be possession. They didn't want to be the possession of the father. Uh, and so this here is possession, holding a pattern of behavior. Uh, it's, you know, it's, it's money, it's building financial security. It's 
holding this pattern. It's, it's just the greedy miser card. So they didn't do it for greed. They did it. They did it because basically they did want to spend some money, but they wanted to not have that pattern of behavior to continue. They wanted to end the pattern of behavior of their father. We got to stop it. We got to stop the strife and 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 issues we got to stop this whole conflict and the drama and the chaos at home and remove this pattern of behavior because there's it's never going to get better it's never going to get better so what did they do they created a lot of pain uh the betrayal it just felt like a betrayal had been going on in the home uh you know this is someone who will never have your back this is vengeance it's the card of vengeance so they got their vengeance uh, they realized it was a chronic illness. Pedophilia is a chronic illness. It's a betrayal. Pedophilia is a betrayal. So they did the betrayal. Betray. They met betray with betray. Heartbreak. Uh, you know, it was a triangulated situation between the mother, the father, uh, the sons. That's, you know, the two sons is kind of considered as one. Then you got the mother and the father. So that's sort of a triangulation of pain. You could also consider it as triangulation with with Eric, Lyle, and Roy. There was this pain, pain of triangulation and trying to heal it and let's let down the boundary that we had held up against this case and let it out so that we can all heal. So this is about trying to get some healing here and because of the burden, major burden with the 10 of wands, huge burden to carry and through carrying the burden all these years, they got stronger. After the Ten of Wands comes the Ace of Wands, which becomes a breakthrough. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Let's start this now. Uh, let's put new life into this. So new life has been put into this trial, uh, this project. It's a project now. It's the beginning of it now. So we got the spark of this new vitality put into this case again after the burden of carrying it got stronger carrying it really needing to put it to rest after all these years finally doing it and then we have here king of cups in reverse with the with the cold woman so here we have we have um kitty the wife she was cold calculated sword energy female who kind of was a, she's an ice queen don't come to her for emotions she doesn't care so she's not that emotional woman that you can take your emotions to. She doesn't care about your emotions. Uh, and there's a lack of emotional understanding of the human condition. No empathy, no love, emotional manipulation of the mother. She went along with it. She knew what was going on. She knew it was the truth, yet she would not care with the king of cups in reverse. The king of cups in the reverse is the father. He was a charismatic authority figure uh, with his emotions. Uh, he basically, he was not kind. He was not calm. Uh, he had probably addiction issues, more than likely drinking, heavy drinking, uh, repressed, depressed, emotional manipulation, turbulence, outbursts, violence, total volatile, moodiness. Uh, he fell apart emotionally. He was intolerant. He wasn't trustworthy. He wasn't dependable. He wasn't loyal. He was never loving and generous. So there you have it. That is how I see that. Let's get under the deck. What do I have under the deck here? And basically this here was all about, you know, manipulation. There was a lot of manipulation going on. The boys could not take their willpower and change it. There was nothing they could do. They could not put that didn't matter what they wanted to do they could not change the situation so it's all about this is manipulation there was a lot of illusions and deception in their life with the parents to keep it hidden the trickery they wanted to keep the illusion of being probably they wanted to keep the illusion of that he was the perfect father and she was the the perfect intellectual wife or you know the truth-telling wife uh the ice queen in the house who could talk anything off your head, intellectual woman, but no heart. Uh, and that was the illusion that they had as a family, that she was very intellectual and he was Mr. Perfect, you know, uh, you know, he was dependable and tolerant and diplomatic and loved by everyone and loved by many, but that was an illusion. It was a deception. 
so that's how I see this. So it's looking like I think things may pan out pretty well for them. Uh, and that should be interesting to see how this case goes. I'm going to pull out my pendulum now. And I'm going to ask the pendulum just for a backup here. If Roy is telling the truth. Is Roy, Roy Rossello telling the truth? Is 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 Roy Rossello telling the truth? Yes. Was Lyle, Lyle and Eric, I'm going to stop it. Was Lyle and Eric telling the truth? Was Lyle and Eric telling the truth about their father being a pedophile? Did Lyle and Eric speak the truth about their father? Did Lyle and Eric speak the truth about their father? Yes. Yes. Will they be let out of prison? Will they now finally be let out of prison eventually? Will they eventually be let out of prison? Will they be released? Will they be released from prison? Will they be released from prison? Maybe. Maybe. So it doesn't want to say. So a big court trial first, obviously. Yes. 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 Will it be compelling? Will it be a compelling case? Yes. Yes. Will the jury find in their favor? Will the jury find in their favor? Yes. Okay. So they'll probably have to redo whatever years left years left or years served yes will they be let out shortly thereafter will they be let out shortly thereafter maybe so it's going to be still a struggle because it was pretty brutal killing so it's going to even though that went down that's going to be kind of interesting they might still have to fight for their freedom interesting okay you guys i hope you enjoyed this till next time like and subscribe bye